Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add users to your Power App. If you enjoy Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint, and Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because we'll be putting out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. You want to add users to your Power App. So I'm in Power Apps right now. I'll go ahead and go to the application that I want to use. So if you click on the app you want to use so in this case i want to use my marketing app you can click on the share button at the top or you can click on the triple dot share all right so this will bring up the sharing menu so you can add a user a distribution list or you can add, add everyone in the organization so first things first i will go ahead and add a user so i will be adding bob green so if i click on him at the bottom, you have a send an email invitation to new users. If you want to send a Bob an email letting him know that, hey, you have access to the Power App, you're able to do that. You could do that with the email and the include a picture on the side. If you uncheck this, that menu goes away and he won't receive a notification about the Power App, but it will appear in his Power Apps menu for the apps he can use. All right, so let's say I want to send Bob an email saying hi. I granted you access for the marketing app. Thanks, Michael. Now if you want to add an image, you can do that. I'm not going to do that. Down here, we have we can make Bob a co-owner of the app. So the only reason you would make someone else a co-owner is if they're working on the app with you. So if Bob wasn't doing any editing to the app or he wasn't really working inside the app, I would just let him be a regular user. But if he was making changes to the app and everything, I'd make him a co-owner. And if he was a co-owner, he can use, edit, share, uh, not delete anything, and he cannot change the ownership. So my app actually uses a few SharePoint lists right here. So just make sure the users that you're sharing the app with have access to the SharePoint list that you are using in the app. Because if they don't, they won't be able to access some of the features within the application. So just make sure that they have access to the SharePoint list as well when you share the app. So let's go ahead and send Bob this email. All right. And next, I'm going to show you how to add everyone in your organization. So you just start typing everyone. And my, donate, my domain is everyone in Michael Alex. That's my domain. So if I click on yes. I recommend not sending an email to everyone in the organization for this because your organization can have thousands of people and it does not look good if you send an email to everyone in the organization. But I recommend to not do that unless you have a very small organization, maybe like one to 20 people and they're all using the application. So you can, with an organization, you cannot make them a co-owner. So they're just going to have access to use the app. And again, just make sure they have access to the SharePoint list that the uh, app uses. So we'll go ahead and click on share. So if I want to remove the permissions from these people, it's pretty easy. You just click on the X and I can remove their permissions. So that will be the video on how to add users to your Power App. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I will catch you in the next one.